Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you a quick demo about how to customise your light parameter widget when using the lighting tools in Katana so you can access extra parameters. This means that you can stay full screen in the Hydravia and you don't need to keep switching back to the parameters panel to adjust the parameters that you use the most when working. So by default, this widget lets you adjust the intensity, exposure and colour, but you can use the viewer object settings node to add more parameters here. So this node lets you change how objects are displayed in the Hydra viewer. So place down a viewer object settings node and you've got to place it anywhere underneath your gaffer 3 node in the node graph. Open the parameters and if you want to affect the parameter widget of just one specific light, you can add a path statement and middle mouse drag a light from the scene graph into the path field and now any um, settings that we change here will only affect this one spotlight. But if you do want to affect all lights of a specific type, you can add a custom statement. So for example, you could write a statement that affects all the spotlights in your scene so that all new and existing spotlights will have the extra parameters that we choose to add. Uh, so let's start by writing the path to the gaffer location and we can drag that from the scene graph again. That is where all the lights in our scene are located. So then we want to target all the spotlights in our scene and to find the correct syntax to write, we can quickly check by selecting a spotlight in the scene graph, going to the attributes tab and having a look under the material sub tab. And we can see that the DL light shader has a type spotlight. And if you hover over the DL light shader, uh, the tooltip tells you how to access this attribute in an expression. So this is what we're going to need to write. Access the attribute material dot DL light shader. And then we want it to be a type spotlight. Okay, so this means that under the gaffer location, everything using the DL light shader of a type spotlight is going to be affected. So now we just need to tell it what parameter to add to the spotlight widgets. And we can do this under the lighting tool subtab, inside parameters. And in this first field, we can specify which parameter we want to add. And in the second field, we can give it um, an abbreviated name to, to show in the widget. So let's quickly go back to our light parameters and um, find out the name for, let's say, the spread parameter. And that is dllightprams.spread. So jump up back to the viewer object settings and we can type dllightprams.spread. Hit enter. And you should see the spread parameter in the spotlight widget in our Hydra viewer. Okay, great. So now we can give it an abbreviated name if we want. If not, the default name will be applied to the widget. So I'm going to call it SPR. Hit enter again and that updates on the widget. So just to recap, we've used the viewer object settings node to add the spread parameter to our light widget for all new and existing spotlights in our scene. So I hope you enjoyed that demo. Thanks for watching.